Welcome back to the lab. Nothing is ever easy. GTR, we've got a new computer. We've got a brand new Link G4X. What's the code on the NGTRX, which are on special at the moment. If you're on the like 15% off, it's uh, that's a big chunk of money for ECU when you're talking four digits for the ECU. Um, save yourself how many boxes of beer is that? It's like five or six boxes of beer or, or more maybe. Don't quote me on that. Depends on the beer you drink. So they are, that's a plug-in ECU I'm talking about. It's plug-in in that you don't have to do any, you don't have to do any wiring. You can actually put the plug onto the harness that's on the car. This isn't the new ECU board, by the way. Uh, this plug here just goes straight on. There's another one of those on the, in the new board and everything that's all in there. So it plugs in, but you do have to fit the board into an old ECU case, your old one or another one. So I went to do that this morning. I'm not sure about this sticker. Can you read Japanese? What does that say? What does that say? Is, is that normal? Does that say warranty removed if you take that off or something? I got a fly in here. He's annoying me. Um, you're supposed to just unscrew the, the board. So I'm busy undoing all the, the transistors off the side here. See this transistors there, and they have little, they're clamped onto the case to um, dissipate heat and stuff, right? So you got to undo those. Sometimes those are thread locked, and they weren't on this one, so that was nice. And I was thinking, oh, it's going to be a good morning. Everything's going to go good. Ah, <laughs> uh, someone's had this apart. I think I don't think the factory solders the screws like that. I could be wrong. I've never seen it myself, but I haven't changed the ECU on a. R33 uh, GTR, so is that something that they started doing later on? Is it something that came about after the 300 ZXs and stuff? It certainly wasn't there on R34 GTT when I did that ECU. I've um, never seen it before, so I'm wondering if this is being faffed around with, it's being repaired, or I'm destroying it, aren't I? Oh no, oh, oh, don't do that. Oh, I'm supposed to be wearing an anti static strap. So humid in the Waikato, I don't think it's a deal, but. So I'm going to have to get the solder out, the solder, out of the uh, screws to get the screws out. Nice! Yeah, never mind. If that's the worst that happens today, then we're doing pretty good. Well, that put up a, um, a massive fight. These two were pretty easy. Put a bit of heat on there and removed as much of the solder from the screw head as possible. Um, and got a screwdriver in there and they just came undone so that was all right these other ones the solder is actually underneath so they'd soldered there put the screw in and i'm assuming put heat on it with the soldering iron and screwed it in and then filled in the head so it was actually literally soldered to the board which made it a massive pita this board i would not trust again um after the activities that were involved in getting those screws out, they did not come out in one piece. As you can see, I had to grind the heads off a couple of them because they were just impossible, even with heat and screwdriver and impact driver and cutting a slot in there with the Dremel. Uh, it was just impossible. Just had to grind the heads off them and then pull the remainder out of here. And So all this has all been cleaned. Uh, I'd love to throw that in the bin, but it's not my property. So I'm not going, I really want to. It's not my property, but there. Yeah. So next step, we put the, the new board into here, which requires two hands and this anti-static strap that's included in the in the box. So let's unbox it. Can we do it with one, one hand? That's a bracket that's required for that. This is an expansion cable harness, rather, that, um, that we need for what I'm doing uh, to put some more... I don't know if I can do this one-handed, guys. Hang on. Magic, that bit disappeared magically. And then, ooh, look, got to register your product. And in there, it's in there in an anti-static bag thingy. So, uh, very long story short, that goes like that in there. But not in the bag. Bench is a little messy, but that's 
kind of sort of ready to go into the car. Uh, some sort of debauchery going on with brackets and stuff. I've got to figure that out. Supplied stuff and things. Um, the um, owner of the Fast and the Furious franchise called and they wanted all their movie props back. So we have to take all this stuff out. This is <laughs> period correct for those early movies, isn't it? And um, that doesn't come out without a bit of a fight. Uh, so a little bit, a um, little bit ouchy getting all this insert some swear words out of the car but tell it is um there's some plumbing for the boost control stuff that lives down here somewhere doesn't matter i'll um delete all that and do a nicer job of it all we need is a, a pressure source from that side actually would work we can take a pressure side a pressure source from this side of the system if there's a port somewhere and just run the boost control the entire system over here it doesn't need to come from over here it actually work faster if it's from this side because you won't have the delay of the air pressure building all the way through there i mean delay we're talking maybe a hundredth of a second or something like that but it'll all help with control etc yeah uh, i think it might be lunchtime already it uh it takes quite a while this as you can see there's rogue cable ties lying all over the floor everywhere um, and there's many 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 wires in here um, the worst cars to work on are the ones that have been modified the easiest ones are the ones that are factory stock with nothing done to them they're much much easier to work on but there's stuff and things going on in here there's an alarm there's a looks like a radar detector system and the stereo system and there's just wires for africa so you've got to be very careful what I'm doing in there so I don't stuff it up and make it so it won't run. Uh, yeah, skip forward a little bit. Suddenly it's in the car and running. Um, just on the bass tune, I've, I've done literally nothing except calibrate sensors, set bass timing. It is currently locked on... It is locked on 15 degrees quite a bit of a offset to get that to 15 degrees got the timing light here I'm gonna probably chop my fingers off trying to do this one-handed uh, yeah down there I don't know if you can see it but it's bang on 15 degrees so yes and um, no clouds of smoke coming out of there I better turn it off it is after five o'clock I will annoy the neighbors but yes so next up is, is turn it off like I said. Um, next up is noisy motorbox in the background. Is the two more sensors to go on there? Ugh, bit dirty. Uh, two more sensors, oil pressure and well, kind of three, because the first one's a two and one. Oil pressure and temperature sensor, and the second one's fuel pressure sensor. Um, put those in then we can set up some protections so that uh, it gets a hole in the sump or the sump plug gets knocked off or there's massive oil surge and the ECU can go well you're definitely not going to be doing 7000 rpm with 10 psi of oil pressure so let's have a little bit less of that and kill the boost so you can do all sorts of things temperatures and pressures and it is time to go inside that was if this was a standard car that was a very easy install very very simple it it isn't what it is it does plug in but you've got to put the board into the case um set up your tps set up your map sensor set up your base timing it'll run um it won't run nice you can't drive it down the road and hit boost and yeah boy do mean skids but it'll run so we've got that it's I'd say that's running nicer than what it was with the other computer with whatever was happening with that. We're not, we're, I don't want to even try and figure it out. That stuff belongs, in my opinion, in a museum or in a tribute car to like Fast and Furious original movies and all that sort of carry on. It's, um, it worked in the day. It's old school tech now. Time to move it along. All right, inside the drink. And then there was more things happen. It's running again. More blood. More blood. It likes taking blood. That's right, I took blood. I took things from it. I took this box. This 
boxy thing here with electronicry resistance we defeated the resistance that normally lives in there there's actually a big bracket that's missing off this car that normally goes in there and that hangs off it and a couple other things and we don't need that anymore it's not going in the bin it's not not mine but I also took something else out of it whoever's lost that spanner many moons ago it's mine now that's my spanner now because you left it in that car down there underneath the brake master cylinder so that can go in my toolbox we took the resistance out the resistor because we took those out and we put some different ones in there so a thousand cc injectors in there now because we've got a nice computer and it's easy to set up a couple of changes it's running beautiful shall I annoy the neighbours it's actually it's not that noisy the fans more noise than the motor um, it's still got the do we make a joke about a butt plug it's got a bigger one now that one fits properly yeah, it sounds awful back here doesn't it anyway that's enough are we up to temp? We've got good oil pressure. Oh yeah, look over there, we're up to temp, but I've got to fix those gauges too. Check out the disco lights, man. We've got disco going in here. I'll take that out. I'll take those inside when I take the pooter inside. If anyone wants to steal this thing, they'll have to try and Be quiet, they're all, they'll have to try and find the keys. And shift the pulsar and shift the march and open the door and get the gates open and it's not happening. Um, that'll do for now. The cover's not on here in case we have to clean spark plugs, which I did have to clean them again just before I put the new Link ECU in there. Actually just after, because the plugs were so fouled up the timing light wouldn't work. So I took them out, cleaned them and then time light worked and then I set the timing on it and Bob's your uncle or brother-in-law as the case may be so next video on this one is going to be on the dyno getting it all tuned make it go good as soon as um as soon as Mr Adrian's got some time all right thanks for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and bloody all the stuff and things let's bump up those numbers we've only got 5,000 and a little bit subscribers those numbers need to be bumped up bump those numbers up i could put a clip from a movie here but i'm not into that i'm about actual content rather than editing it to present it better let's just look at what's actually going on here in the in the real man's workshop no real ferrari f40s here it's all real stuff you can okay maybe not gtr um <laughs> real real stuff you can afford and work on yourself it's not Friday. I wish it was Friday. Thanks for watching. Jib.